Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, um, and maybe some students as well. It's really nice to be able to speak with you this evening um, and start by our sharing our journey with you um, of your children's time with us here at um, what will be Carrington School. I'm just going to start this evening by giving you a little bit of background information update as to where we are, and then I will be forwarding um, on to my fellow colleagues, Miss Akavar, Miss Williams, Miss Dilworth, and also to our head prefects who are going to speak with you a bit later through this evening. From September, when your children join us, we will be Carrington School. As many of you will be aware, over the last year, we have been both moving into a brand new building, but also looking at our vision and our ethos as a school, um, and therefore decided that it was the right time to change our name to Carrington School. That process is already taking place and you will start to receive documentation that has Carrington on it. Um, you will see from our emails that they will have um, email signatures with Carrington as we begin to take on that name and embrace it. By the 1st of September, we will be Carrington School. There will be some leftovers of the Warwick School because it's part of our history, it's part of who we are, and we have um, students who will always want to be known as Warwick students, um, and for the next few years, we'll be moving through as well. This is what the school looks like. If you haven't been on lately um, and been on one of the tours that I've been doing, I know I've, I've shown a lot of people around over the past few weeks since Easter, um, but we're very lucky to have this wonderful building um, that opened on the 14th of April. Um, when your children join us, though this won't be quite the picture that they see, but it just show the variety of buildings um, that we have and will be able to access. So we are currently housed in the um, Astra building as it will be known from September with the sports centre just sitting behind it and the all-weather pitch um, in front of it there. Buildings that we haven't shown everybody around that are currently called North and East Blocks will become the Vega building which is actually um, lying in the constellation of Lyra the Harp um, and it has housed music so it seemed good to be calling it that. The Altair building which is currently the north um, east block um, again it's one of the brightest stars in the um, circumpolar. It is one of the southern points of the summer triangle that lies with Vega and Deneb so again it's it's nicely fitted in there and then the Deneb building is what is currently known as our South Block. Um, and again, it is the, one of the brightest stars. It's likely to be a Northern star again. Um, and it is the principal star in the constellation of Lyra, uh, not of Lyra the Harp, sorry, of Cygnus um, of the Swan. And interestingly, I think that's really good because it pays tribute to our current um, badge and logo, which is based around the Swan from the Earl of Warwick. So we've tried to keep some of the um, history behind us as well as looking forward. The site here, as you see, it is what we're expecting the site to look like. We do have delays on the demolition of our current building, of the old building that we were in. Um, and so unfortunately, it is unlikely that when everyone returns in September, that that space, it will look like this. And I think it will be the best part of next year before we actually are able to utilize this space just here around the covered area um, as we would like to. Um, but I'm working very closely with the uh, construction team and they've been really good at helping us make proper arrangements to get everything in place. Just to show some quick pictures around the building, if you haven't um, been on one of the tours and seen it, we've got the sports hall um, that is being used regularly. This is the observatory, which is our dining space um, for students. They, it's open uh, morning, noon and night. Um, the students can get hot food at eight o'clock in the morning and at their breaks and lunch times. Antares is our, um, our library. 
and again open to students to use before and after school and also during breaks and lunch times and has been a great space for people to go not only to read but to do homework to uh, meet with friends, to do mentoring, to do any extra work that's needed or to play games. Um, and Miss Hymas, who runs the library, does the Rygate and Banstead Rights competition, of which we get many entries from our own students and from students across the local authority as well. This is our ICT suite, which students um, use once a week at least in uh, year seven for their computing lessons as well. And just to touch base again, a little bit of why Car Carrington School, um, Richard Carrington lived here in Red Hill. Um, he did a lot of research in the area around Slocum Polar Stars. He founded 300 or named 365 of them. He also observed solar flares um, and that work that he did there was absolutely amazing in terms of um, where it's bought um, space and research today. Um, and they're actually considering doing a mission um, to space that will be called the Carrington Mission. Um, and this map here just shows some of the roads whereby um, Richard Carrington has been named after and where he actually had his observatory, which is um, up on Burt's Hill. There's now, I think, a, a big, large uh, block of flats and apartments. Um, the observatory, sadly, is no longer there. But many of our students and newest families will walk those spaces and may even live in some of those roads um, as well. Along with that work, we have worked greatly around our values um, and we have agreed with our local community and our school students and staff that our three values are going to be aspire, innovate and respect. Um, and the behaviours that sit with these um, are very much around developing an ethos for work, um, for being excited and passionate about learning and to be looking to the purpose of that learning and where is it going to take you um, and what doors and pathways will you be led on. So we pursue excellence, we believe in ourselves, we are ambitious and we persevere. They're the first four values that we hope we will see in all of our year seven students that come to us in September. We want them to be curious and creative learners, to be create, courageous. We want them to show initiative, embrace change and to work collaboratively and therefore to be innovative in their work that they do. And then we want them to be respectful. We want them to be kind to themselves and to each other, to take responsibility, to celebrate diversity and to care for their environment, that at home, that at school and that in the wider community. And that work will be developed through our personal development session, sessions, through assemblies and just through being part of Carrington School. And our motto, which we've built in, is Ad Astra to the stars. So we can do whatever we want to do. And we want our young people to come here to believe in themselves, to dream, to have high aspirations and to spend the next five years thinking and working and aiming high um, to manage to get to wherever they want to. And we will support them and help them and drive them and possibly even nag them a little bit in order to get them to those places. Many of you have asked lots of questions about uniform. I now have some more exciting visuals for you of the uniform. We have a trouser uniform that will look um, very much like this. There are some um, tweaks still to be done, uh, particularly around the tie, um, but it is an optional jumper. Blazer is compulsory. There's a tie if wearing trousers. And then if you choose to wear a skirt, you have an open neck actually, that's a slight, um, just needs to be an open revere neck there um, for the shirt. And those informations of how you can order these will be sent with the information pack that will come out um, electronically over the next few days so that you can start that process. Um, and then our PE kit following the same design with the gray and the teal and the black, 
is also available. The other items such as trousers, um, such as shirts, shorts, skorts, can all be bought from your local supermarkets or places where you, you buy your school uniform from. Um, there are, we've tried to keep very limited to the branded items that help us identify with who we are as a school community. The other question I know that you'll want to be um, clear about and will be sent to you in electronically as well is around the starts of the school day um, and the times of the school day. This PowerPoint will be available to you and on our website. So you again, you can refer to it as you wish to. But here we have the time. So if you are a year seven student, your start time on a Monday and Friday will be 10 to nine. And Tuesday, Thursday and Wednesday will be at 8.30. And then there are all but on a Wednesday, you will finish at five past three and 20 past three on a Wednesday. And that's just because of the way the, the curriculum is based and with tutor times and assemblies and mentoring times as well. Where there might be siblings in older year groups and you want your children to arrive at the same time, that's absolutely fine. They will be able to wait in the observatory or in Antares to do a bit of extra homework or to sit and talk with their friends or if the weather's nice to play um, on the Astro or use the outdoor space as well. So we try to make sure that families can um, work around their, our school day without too much inconvenience. The day has um, been shortened in terms of lesson times. This year we're going to 45 minute lessons um, and the timetable will be based in something like this um, in terms of breaks and lunches where they sit. Key stage three students will have a different arrival and departure time to key stage four and a different break and lunch time to key stage four. Um, they will obviously see the older students um, through performances, through working together in enrichment um, and during the crossovers between lessons as well. And our term dates for you, just so um, you have those to hand are sitting here. We come back and we start on Wednesday, the 1st of September and year seven students will arrive probably around 11 o'clock to have the start of their induction. They will get three days induction of that week to really get them familiar with um, the uh, school and their surroundings and their new teachers and their peers, because obviously, we are very aware that they haven't had this day um, to start that process earlier. Now, I'm sure you've had enough of me talking today, so I'm going to just hand you over to our head prefects, Amelia Rolt um, and Jason Manning. And I'm going to just stop the share. Oh no, they're gonna just turn on, the, I'm gonna stop the share and they're gonna turn their camera on so they, they can speak to you. Hello everyone, my name is Amelia and I am pleased to be welcoming you to our school. It's a shame I can't do this in person yet and I'm looking forward to meeting you all in September when I can meet you all in real life. I have been asked to tell you a bit about my experience of being at the school, so here I go. When I was choosing which secondary school to go to, I opted not to go to my local school, but to come here instead. That is because I liked how it was a really friendly and welcoming place in which everyone knew everyone. And I hope you will feel how friendly and welcoming it is when you walk through the gates on your first day. When I was your age, I did not imagine that I could ever be head girl. One day, I was shy and I lacked confidence. That all changed during my years here because I came, became part of sports teams and clubs where I realized I had qualities and talents that I didn't know I had. Discovering these gave me the confidence to take risks and try new experiences. Next summer, a group of us are going to travel to Uganda with the school. If you, do, if you told my year six self that I would be doing something like that, I would not have believed you. So no matter how nervous you feel now, my advice is to try everything our school has to offer, even if you feel shy like I used to. Take risks and step out of your comfort zone. Join clubs and volunteer for new experiences, even if your friends don't want to. You'll definitely have fun. You will make new friends. And you will also learn that you have skills and qualities that you didn't know you had. 
Who knows, you might even gain the confidence to apply for head prefect. And in five years time, you could find yourself welcoming our new students like I'm doing now. See you in September. I can't wait to meet you all. So be sure to say hello to me and Jason when you see us. Hello, I'm Jason and I'm head prefect this year. When I think of year seven, I'm reminded of an exciting time. The first of five years, five chapters at secondary school. It was in year seven that I met new friends, became more independent, a process that continues even today. But most importantly, my eyes were widened to so many more ideas, so many more opportunities. From year seven to now, I have explored more subjects, delved into the past and history, navigated the world and geography, experimented with chemicals and science. But school isn't solely about the curriculum. It's about the community, the society that we build for ourselves. I've had the privilege to be a part of that for four years already, and I've grown in confidence and independence because of it. I have attended an array of clubs, astronomy, science, and chess, where I have built long lasting friendships and grown in confidence by sharing my ideas with others. There have always been teachers to support and guide me through school whilst allowing me to be independent. I can honestly say that so far, life at the Warwick has been truly inspiring and significant. But what about in a year's time when the new Carrington era has begun? I could no doubt repeat those very praises and I'm sure you could say them too. Thank you. Thank you very much. They are two of our um, head prefects. We have three deputies as, um, as well, um, who I'm sure your children will get to meet um, when they join us in September. I'm now going to hand over to Miss Akaban, who's going to talk a little bit more detail about some of the support that we put around your children. Good evening, everybody. It's very nice to be here introducing uh, some of the key aspects of support that we have at the Warwick, soon to be Carrington School. Um, as Miss Oakley said, I'm Miss Akavaran. I'm one of the assistant head teachers and I oversee Key Stage 3. So when your child starts with us in September, I'll be able to oversee the first three years of their experience with us. I'm going to talk to you briefly about DICE, which is a term that we coined last year, actually two years ago now, um, to encompass the holistic approach that we want to take to the young people that we are supporting. So the, the majority of the focus is around their learning, because obviously this is a school, but we do want to ensure that they demonstrate and display and also learn the correct behaviours, but equally that their well-being is supported, which has become obviously an incredibly prominent aspect as we've been through the last 18 months. So DICE is a term that covers all of those aspects, but it's ultimately underpinned by strong safeguarding practice and a focus on student welfare. We are very privileged here because we have a very large eight members of staff um, in our safeguarding team. Um, and that means that we can obviously address those issues as they come up, as well as a strong pastoral system that works within that. Communication is really key to us as part of the DICE team. And we have encouraged staff and trained staff to use the referral process processes that are in place to ensure that the appropriate place is in, in the appropriate support is in place at the right time um, and all of that communication is logged so we can obviously share that as we need to with parents carers and external services should there be a need to the main aim of dice is to improve the learning experience of all students and through the system that we have we have been successful within that the dice team is made up of ultimately every member of staff in the school because they all have a commitment to those three aspects that I referenced. But the key people for your benefit as we move into year seven are obviously myself, who, as I said, is assistant head for Key Stage 3, and I'm one of the safeguarding team, a deputy within that. Then there is Mrs Williams and Mrs Dilworth, the head of an assistant head of year seven, respectively, who are here this evening to speak with you, and Mrs McGrain, who will support them in their work in the year seven hub. We've recently appointed a director of inclusion who will take on the role of SENCO and a wider role regarding inclusion across the school. That's Mr. Sorensen. And finally, we have Mrs. Carroll, who's a homeschool link worker who has been with us now for just over a year and will work very effectively with yourselves and obviously with us in school to make sure that we are doing the best for your child and for your children. 
There are some key things that I just want to reference and obviously there will be more opportunity to understand all of these aspects as we get to know you and to get to know your families. But we are very much aware of the impact of the last 18 months. So the well-being of your children is, is vital to us. And Mrs Williams and her team has worked very closely to make sure that they visited your children in primary schools and have the information that they need to share with the mentors who will be meeting later this evening to make sure that we understand your, your children, we understand them as our new students and we are supporting them as best we can. There have been lots of things such as school closures that we know will have impacted on them academically, but also emotionally and socially. And we will use the systems that we have such as our safeguarding team, a strong staff body and things like personal development, which is a core lesson to ensure that they've got the skills and they've got the ability to articulate how they, were how they are feeling about the challenges of moving to secondary, but any other challenges that they might be facing. We want to ensure that all of the information that we have is obviously shared sensitively and it's managed as carefully as possible. And we encourage staff to be vigilant to ensure that they are picking up on any needs that students have as they begin to um, join us at Carrington School in September. So student progress is key for us. As I have said, learning is the heart of the decisions that we are making and we want to improve that learning experience for all of the students at all times. We do focus on their academic progress, obviously, but we also look at their attendance and we will encourage good attendance from the outset. We want to focus on effort, um, not necessarily always in uh, knowing that some students will achieve as they should immediately, but we will give them the skills and the confidence to build towards that as time goes on. Behaviour is key and the behaviours that we want them to demonstrate in line with our values is also very important. But equally, when we know that students are doing great things, which we know that they will, because we've heard all about it from primary school already, that they are recognised for that and that we, we reward them and communicate that back to you. There are various ways in which we do that, one of which is um, an app called Go for Schools, and you will receive further information about that as time goes on. There will be lots of ways to feed back to you, and some of that will include the, the standard uh, marking and feedback in classwork, but equally reports and parent consultation evenings. And we will ensure that there is regular communication coming from the mentor and from the year seven team to update you on the progress of your child as they move into and through secondary school over the course of the next few weeks, months and years. We really do want students to have a holistic education and part of that will it be um, getting involved in all the different activities that are available. So Amelia's mentioned the trip to Uganda, which is going to take place next year, but there are lots of things to enable students to build their skill set, to give them the confidence to apply for those sorts of um, opportunities as time goes on. So there are a whole range of enrichment clubs and they can be found on our website. So you get a taster of what is available at this time of the year. But there's also things like school council, if they are politically minded, this is a good starting point for that. But equally, if they have a voice and they wish to share it, then joining school council is something that we would actively encourage. Trips and visits, I know, has come up on the questions already this afternoon, and it is something we are planning towards for the next ap academic year. And also encouraging a community involvement and making sure that they recognise and they contribute to the local community through things like charitable events. We really are looking forward to seeing your children in September um, and possibly at summer school. So I will hand over to Mrs Williams so she can give you some more information about what the next few weeks and months will look like. Thank you. And I look forward to meeting you properly soon. Good afternoon. Um, lovely or good evening, I should say. Uh, lovely to see um, so many people joining us uh, this evening. Um, I just want to speak to you about sort of the next few steps that are going to take place. Um, we're really disappointed that we weren't able to see you all in person today, um, but it's been wonderful to have the opportunity to come around and meet so many um, of the young people in their primary schools over the last uh, few weeks. Um, we've given them a lot of information and they will receive more information when they meet their mentors um, in a moment. Um, and I just want to talk through with you now what you can expect over the next few weeks um, with induction. 
So our team consists of the following people, um, and these are who your children will meet in the next uh, few minutes um, at quarter to seven. Um, so we have our patrons down the left hand side. They are the names of all of the mentor groups and then the mentors themselves on the right hand side um, who will be guiding your, your children through the next few years um, at, the Warwick, at the Warwick School and then Carrington School, obviously, from September. So um, obviously in the next few moments um, we will be leaving this meeting to go into our mental group meetings um, and those meetings will um, give the students an opportunity to meet one another virtually and um, give them the chance to ask any questions that they might have um, and just to give them some key information um, that they need to know for these next few steps as well and although we can't be together in person we really hope that those uh, half an hour meetings give them that chance to start to familiarize themselves with their mentors and other students as well if students are not comfortable having cameras on and that sort of thing that is absolutely fine um, but if they are able to do so that would be wonderful so that we can start to get to know their faces as well um, if you haven't yet completed the online admissions information, we ask that that is um, made priority over the next few days and um, by the end of this week. And um, this is so that we have everything we need for students to come on roll to us from September and everything we need to make sure that everything runs smoothly from that point as well. If you need any more information on that, um, do drop me an email and I can send you over the link again. We would normally be giving students today, if they were to come into school, packs of information to take home and enjoy over the summer holidays. Um, this time around, we will deliver those packs to primary schools over the next couple of weeks. So students will still receive that information. And in those packs, they will have a letter from their mentor. They will have a couple of challenges, again, optional challenges for them to have a go at. Um, and they can also bring back in those folders in September any challenges that they may have completed from the student challenge booklets that we recently sent out as well. So again, just things to help um, the engagement with their new school ticking over over the summer holidays. Um, and if they haven't looked at the school website, I'd recommend they do that as well. There are videos up there from teachers um, from all departments in the school welcoming them to Carrington um, and giving them some more information. You will receive um, in the information um, that we send out through the next couple of days via email, you will receive in that a letter uh, that asks you to um, request, place, request places for the summer school that we'll be holding in the final week of the summer holidays. Um, we are able to offer 60 places a day to students. Uh, so if that is something that you would like your child to take part in, um, then please do return um, those consent forms as soon as possible. Um, and those places will be given on a first come, first served basis. A great opportunity for them to come and have the school to themselves um, before we actually get going in September. Um, and we will put on a variety of activities for them to enjoy during that summer school. And then September will be here before we know it. Um, and as Ms. Oakley said earlier, we will make sure they have three days of induction from Wednesday the 1st of September to really help them to understand their new environment, get to know their mentors and fellow classmates. And then in those first two weeks in September, we will be taking them to Blacklands Farm um, for a bonding day, which is an activity centre in East Grinstead, um, where we take them to bond with their new classmates, uh, with their new teachers and for us to bond as a year group as well. Um, so again, a letter with all that information will be sent to you in the information packs that come out later this week. Um, and if you have any questions about them, that, about them, then do let me know. And then the final bullet point I've put there um, is just regarding a, a website that again, students may find useful um, by the BBC. And when we send this PowerPoint to you, do feel free to take a look at that. These are just examples of what's going to come out in the packs. So a couple of the challenges which we can just look through quickly now. So in September, students will start with us at 11 o'clock on the Wednesday. We're going to be meeting on the back playground um, and using the north entrance of the school um, and students should arrive in full school uniform. Uh, PE kit will not be needed for that first day. I will be emailing you all again um, at the end of this term um, and again by the end of the summer holidays 
just reiterating any key information that we need. But if you do have any questions regarding that over the next few weeks, feel free to email me as well. And in September, we will tour the students around the school. Um, they will understand the, the new systems that might be in place, whether that's COVID related and just generally as well. Um, we will introduce students to our remote learning platforms. We'll give them their email addresses. We'll sort out their fingerprints in the lunch hall. Um, photographs will be taken. All of that sort of really important and exciting stuff that really helps them to sort of feel a, a part of our community from the very beginning. Um, they will be doing personal development learning, um, which will look at things around relationships, knowledge of each other, and that is with staff and students. Um, there will be regular mentoring opportunities with tutors and mentors, um, and as I've said, we'll have a bonding day. So there'll be lots to get going in September for us to enjoy, um, and then we have a very fun-filled programme that we've put together um, throughout the, the rest of the year for them to also work through. And in school, uh, students will be encouraged um, to maintain good hygiene habits um, as we go through the school. Um, there is a one way system that may still be in place come that point as well. Um, and we obviously ask students to bring their own equipment and water bottle as well. So thank you for your time. I think Miss Oakley is also coming back to join us now as well. Yes, and thank you, um, Miss Williams. Thank you, Miss Akavan, um, and also thank you to Jason and Amelia. Um, there's lots of information on those slides, and I appreciate it's very difficult to take it all in. Um, and you're also going off now to, in a moment, to meet with your um, groups. If I can ask that you, if you can keep your cameras on, then you'll be able to start to see each other. Um, as a, a small community in a small tutor group um, and that may just help ease some of those nerves that I'm sure you have about who's going to be in your group. Um, please be aware that tutor groups do stay as a group, we hope, for the five years that they are in those um, classes um, and around October half term we will have had a chance to have got to know your children. We will have done some mini assessments. We may have done some wider testing to get to know what their potential abilities are. And at that point, we will then start to look to loosely set students into what we call learning groups so that they will then go on and be um, taught appropriate to their abilities. Um, so the first six weeks, they will travel around as a tutor group that helps them to build those relationships and to get to know um, sets of teachers with the view that that may change at October half term, all being that we can get through the half term without any disruption. So that just gives a little bit of emphasis. But these are important relationships that they will start to build now. And I just want to finish by saying that we are very excited to start on a new journey. We have a new building. We have great, a great learning environment. We've got the steadiest staffing that we've had for many a year with great experience across a whole range of subjects. We want this to be a very positive and exciting yet challenging um, time. We don't want people coasting and thinking, oh, it's just too easy. And if that's the case, please do let us know and we'll find something um, to tackle and get people thinking. But we do want memories to be built. We do want your child to get up in the morning wanting to come to school, to build new friendships and to build memories, because those are the most important times um, of their life um, and they will take what they learn with them forward into the future and that is what we're, our aim is to do is to prepare them for the future get them the grades they need to go on to whatever course they want to do at whatever college they want to go to in what will now be nearly five years time so I hope that we've given you um, the confidence that we will deliver that um, and the excitement of something um, that you are embracing on as a family over the next five years. I'm just going to wish you all a great summer. Please, we look forward to seeing many of you at summer school if you're able to get there. Do stay in touch with Mrs. Williams, Miss Akavan, or Miss Stillworth if at any time you have any questions at all. I am still ready to do some tours. I've got two and a half weeks left of school. Please contact my PA, Mrs. Fish, if you'd like a tour around the building before we close for the summer. 
Um, if not, you may have to do that in September and hopefully we'll be able to open our doors to many more people. Thank you very much for listening. Mrs. Williams, I'm trusting that you're going to guide people to the next stage of their journey. This will be the biggest challenge we all have yet. Good luck and thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Ms. Oakley. Um, so I've sent two links today. I know that there was another email that I had to send this morning. Apologies, uh, te technology was not on our side. Um, but the second link is what students can click on at um, 6.45. So just over sort of five minutes or so. Um, and we will all there be ready and waiting to go into our breakout mentor rooms. So see you shortly.